Parker sits here. And typically our dog Cannon sits here. Only Todd the driver doesn't like it when Cannon the dog sits here. So mostly it just makes him really crazy. But this is his area. And when he doesn't want to listen to us go crazy, he just shuts this door. And he has peace and quiet. Alright, come on back. Okay, this is our living quarters. Now as you can see, it's kind of cool. It's pretty maxed out. We have a um, nice little living room here with our couches that if all five of us sit up real straight, we all fit. Um, we do have a couple TVs, which is kind of fun. But uh, this is our kitchen. As you can see, it's really not room for five, but we uh, have shifts on who can eat when. All of our food and supplies are up here. The coffee machine's not here. I don't drink coffee, but it's very important when you're on the road. Microwave. Um, all the cups, coffee cups, all that fun stuff. The refrigerator, very important. Now, we're just starting out, so you can see our priorities are straight. Large quantities of mayonnaise and mustard, and they've already had babies. We have baby mayonnaise and mustard. So we're doing good. We're actually um, birthing children, so life is good. We have milk, bread, yogurt, ketchup, ketchup mayonnaise, mustards, and small quantities of cheese. So, looks like we're pretty good. This should last us the next four weeks. I think we'll be good. From the kitchen, oh, and there is a freezer down here uh, that we can put frozen food in. And that's about it. Oh, this is really cool. This is the garbage can. So, whenever you want to throw something away, you throw it in here. However, when we're on the road and the bus is moving, there's a wind draft in here. So, anything you put in there actually shoots back out. So, it becomes quite a comedy to actually try to put things in and get, stop them from coming out. Really entertaining. Now, this is the bathroom. And you can see that it's um, not too bad. Toilets here. Now, one of the most important things in a tour bus toilet scenario is number one only. So you have to make sure that it's number one only. Now, um, that does pose an interesting problem because obviously everybody knows when everybody goes to the bathroom. So in the morning, first thing, everybody gets off the bus and um, takes a walk and, and thinks, ponders, and then eventually makes their way back to the bus. So pretty soon it gets to be pretty routine around here. Everybody's on the same bathroom cycle, which is really cool. Now if we step back here, we have our lovely shower. Now, as you can see, there's not exactly a lot of room in here. Um, awesome shower head. It actually, if you're lucky, you get about a spit. So it's somewhere between a spit and a very, very, very light rain shower. Um, it's ridiculous. So you can spend two hours trying to rinse soap off your body. However, if you spend two hours, you run out of water and nobody else gets a shower. So shower's kind of a pain. Um, uh, but we think it looks pretty anyway, but not very useful. All right, okay, now from here, we're gonna go into the living quarters. Now, these pirate flags have been with us for quite a while. They're part of the tour, so you can see them everywhere. This is our pirate ship. So if you come on back here, um, some of our staff lives in bunks. These are their lovely beds. So we're about to take off. Everything's on the bus but the people. I'll introduce you to them later. Everybody has swords. We are a pirate ship, so it is a mandatory requirement to have a sword. Um, everybody has about this much space, one bed worth. So as you can see, uh, this is about what you get. Now, this is actually a special gift for one of our Henri members. He was being Henri today, so we've decided that he needs special help, and so we bought him some special tools so he won't be so Henri on the bus. So a little bit of this and a little bit of this, he should be good for the tour. All right, yeah, you never cross us on tour. There's some pretty horrible jokes that come out. So later on today, we're gonna see how he actually reacts to this, but let's hide it for now. All right, so storage is in the underbunks. Uh, we do have a little bit of closet space. Um, jackets, shoes, bicycle helmets, fun stuff like that. And then of course, more beds. This is Natalie's bed. That was Aaron's back there and John's down there and Brandon's bed. So they're all back here. Um, and we are very, very organized. You will see that our whole entire lives are made up of plastic tubs. So this would be Brandon and Natalie's. Uh, this is mine and John hasn't brought his stuff on, so mine, my rollerblades, so it can blade across the country. We keep a really, really clean bus because we're sort of freakish about this many people. We wanna all get along and have a good time. All right, now let's go back to my living quarters. This is my kingdom. 
this is actually where I spend most of my time. If I'm ever doing a webinar or teaching from the bus, this is where I'm actually sitting. Uh, on the walls, you can see that we have uh, some memorabilia from my children. Uh, they always give me cards and things to uh, remind me of them, so I get to see them every day. And uh, my bed and my free blanket and my pillow. Um, and there are our clothing, or my clothing closets are right back here. So this is where uh, I get all my stuff together. And then my table and my candle, of course, and my TV, which I don't, don't use that too often. Uh, mostly I sit back here and work and listen to music. And that's it. Um, so this is the tour bus. Uh, glad to show it to you. And later on tonight, I'll introduce you to the group. Let's go.